this is a question from csir net uh, june 2021 in which uh, a one dimensional harmonic oscillator is given so you can see it is d2x by dt2 plus 2 gamma dx by dt plus uh, some constant k into x okay so this is a harmonic oscillator equation and the right hand side is capital ft that is external force and it is a function of time so that means a dissipative force is also given okay but uh, this will not uh, make any difference because for us it is just a ordinary differential equation and they want from us the general form of particular solution that means particular solutions with constants written in the form of some a and b so that we have to write now the options were like that if i just put t is equal to 0 then all my dissipative force will become zero so in the options that uh, particular integral should perish so only one option was following that so we can quickly guess that and uh, guess the right answer so that is just uh, from the point of objective question but we should also get into the details that how this can be solved finally and how i can write the exact uh, solution for this okay so how we uh, solve this equation for particular integral uh, for complementary function we know that this is very simple we will just write d square plus 10d plus 16 is equal to 0 and we will get uh, d plus 8 and uh, d uh, plus 2 is equal to 0 by solving this equation and we will get d is equal to minus 8 and d is equal to minus 2 so complementary function will be simply some c1 e to the power minus 8t plus c2 e to the power minus 2t okay now anything in particular integral if we get as some constant time c to the power minus 8t that will be accommodated here and if we get something like constant time c to the power minus 2t that will be accommodated here so that means this will be free from uh, such terms like constant times e to the power minus 8t or constant times e to the power minus 2t so that's why in final answer we won't have any term in which with these things constants will be there okay so now let let us get into particular integral what will be the particular integral for this so that will be given by 1 upon d plus 2 d plus 8 into uh this uh, 6t e to the power minus 8t plus 4t square and e to the power minus 2t okay so this will be the case and now this i will prefer to write it as partial fraction so what i will get 8 minus 2 i will get 6 and here i will get 1 over d plus 2 minus 1 over d plus 8 times this uh, whole thing written here now clearly you can see we will get four terms right so we will get four terms and i should write it to explain it uh so this will become uh, from here i will write this will become 1 over 6 times so first term will be 1 over d plus 2 into 60 e to the power minus 8t plus 4t square e to the power minus 2t so let me just uh, write it uh, as uh, separate terms so this will be the first term okay 1 upon d plus 2 6t e to the power minus 8t and then this 1 upon d plus 2 will be operated on this also so it will become 1 over d plus 2 and when it will operate on this it will become 4t square e to the power minus 2t okay then what about this it will become minus 1 over d plus 8 into 60 e 
e to the power minus 80 and also minus 1 over d plus 8 into 4 t square e to the power minus 2t. Okay. Now, this is a straightforward case in which we have 1 over d plus 2 and here some function of t and exponential, right? So how we solve this? We just write it like this 1 over 1 by 6. We write this fd as fd plus a. We take this out. So we will write e to the power 6 e to the power minus 8t. Okay, and this uh, 1 by 6 will be outside all of that. So 6 e to the power minus 8 by minus 8t. And this will be, d will be replaced by d minus 8. So d minus 8 plus 2 will become 1 upon d minus 6, right? And into t, we will get this. The second one, let us see, plus this will come out. 4 e to the power minus 2t. This will become d. So d will be replaced by d minus 2. So it will become d minus 2 plus 2. So it will just become 1 over d, right? And here we will have t square. Then this one minus 1 over, okay? So this will become minus one over, take this outside. So it will become six e to the power minus 8t, okay? And this will become d, d minus eight. So that will become one over d into t, right? And minus this one will become four e to the power minus 2t. Okay, 4 e to the power minus 2t. And this will become d replaced by d minus 2. So it will become uh, d minus 2, will be, it will become d plus 6. So it will become 1 over d plus 6 and t square. Okay, so uh, this is what we need to solve now. And now actually this is very easy because you will take minus six common and you will make it one minus D by six, take it in the numerator, open it as binomial. And here it is just integration. One by T is D is just integration. And here also same thing, you will take six common and it will become uh, one plus T by six. So we have to solve that much. So let me quickly solve it. So this will become, if I solve this, so this particular integral will become, this is equal to minus one by two e to the power minus eight t into t square minus 1 by 6 e to the power minus 8t into t and plus 2 by 9 t square uh, 2 by 9 t cube e to the power minus 2t and minus 1 by 9 t square e to the power minus 2t and plus t e to the power minus 2 t e to the power minus 2t by 27. Okay. So just immediately after solving this, and I must tell you, you will have to use this 1 minus minus x to the power minus 1. It will be 1 plus x plus x square plus dash 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 and one plus x to the power minus one will become one minus x plus x square 
minus dash dash dash. Okay, these binomial expansions you will have to use. Now you please see, in particular integral, you have to write it uh, in the compact form according to the options, and you have to adjust uh, the coefficients uh, like uh, two by nine minus y one by nine, all of them in the form of constants a and b. Okay, so when you do that, you will find that answer C is correct. Okay, so in this way, you can do this question in detail. Okay, thank you.